Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are going to do another community zoo tour. And in this video, we're going to look at Valle de los Mamots, made by Christopherson J. I really hope I pronounced both of those right. Thank you so much, Christopher J, for sending this zoo to me to check out on the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you want to check out this zoo yourself, you can find a link to this zoo in the description of this video. And make sure to leave a thumbs up, of course, on the Steam Workshop item. And also make sure to check out the rest of Christopher J, his Steam Workshop, because he definitely made some other things as well that some of you might be interested uh, in to use. And if you have a finished zoo, you would like me to check out on the channel as well, please make sure to read the description of this video of how you can send me your finish you and who knows I might be able to check out your finish you as well on the channel in the future. Now without further talking let's go and jump into this uh, Valle de los Mamos which is uh, if I'm correct Spanish meaning Valley of the Mammoth. Now my Spanish is not, <laughs> not like the best so I probably pronounce this completely wrong uh, but, but actually before we jump into it I uh, I think this is very good to mention uh, to to tell a little bit of the history and the meaning behind this you mentioned on the Steam Workshop page as well. So 20,000 years ago, while the north of the continent was locked in ice, the prairies of the American South were home to herds of Colombian mammoth, American camel, and other extinct species. Now a new zoo on the US-Mexican border seeks to recreate this lost landscape using some of these animals' modern-day relatives. Asian elephant, Bactrian camel, bison and pronghorn roam a huge naturalistic paddock in a modern recreation of the Paleo Prairie. The zoo also features facilities for the captive breeding of endangered American carnivores, including the Mexican wolf and jaguar. I found this a very interesting approach of creating uh, this zoo or park or whatever you want to call it. So, okay, without further talking, let's go and check out Valle de los Mamuts <laughs> and uh, let's admire this beautiful entrance already. Oh man, it looks so good. This already looks super promising. The foliage work, the rock work right over here is absolutely beautiful. I want to see... Uh, you, you did add some billboards, which we obviously uh, did download. Um, welcome, bienvenida. Uh, <laughs> please have your ticket ready. Uh, I want to check out this building, because look at this. This is probably the, the spawning point, I think. Oh, and you even have like billboards probably set up with like the advertisement. Oh, that's actually so smart. Actually, I know that you can use it like that. Like you put down this billboard, like like there is an animal in this zoo and it will attract more people when they, they read this sign. It will attract in game, like it will attract more people towards that habitat. So that's actually really cool that you did that. At, at least that is what I think you did with the signs. Yes, there we go. Uh, replace. No, they're actually not. Oh, so you can do that. You can select the advertisement target, uh, which will make sure that there will be uh, guests more interested. Are you tired? Or you didn't enjoy? <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's just go and, uh, and, and, oh, I love these. Wait. Oh my goodness. I actually didn't realize at first, but these are actually ticket booths. And you even created it in like the style of the suit. Oh my goodness, that is so extremely cool. I've never seen anything like that. Oh my god, I love that. All right, so guests will enter right over here and have this beautiful sign right over here and sign right over there. And then they go inside. Oh my god, okay, exit only. No, we're gonna take the entrance. They go through the entrance right over here. There are even cameras right over here for safety, you know? <laughs> oh man, this looks so cool. I really love these billboards. I really do like this. This looks so good. Today, oh my god, look at this. First European travels to America, start of the Bronze Age. 2,000 years before present. Oh my god, that is so cool that you added this. 
in the zoo. Oh, that is really awesome. Okay, we have a gift shop right over here. We have some information here. Animal transport. would like to thank the following uh, contributors for making their blueprints available in the Steam Workshop. Oh, that's really kind of you that you actually made this list. Uh, so Carla's, Mublung, Mr. Domes, Vipvigoga, <laughs> Skylala, Borg, Carla's, Karnik, Vimzas, Josh Outlaw, Ipun, Weiser, and Borg. Um, information, signs, gift shop, wait, gift shop, collection, gift shop, deco. So there are things in here made by other people and, and hopefully uh, we did not forget to mention any name uh, to give credits. Uh, but oh, this looks really good already. Oh man, I love this. That looks really cool. Oh, look at these plants right over here as well. This is really inspiring. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this. Oh, that looks really great. This is a really nice gift shop, by the way. Wow, this is very inspiring. I'm definitely... I need to, to remind myself if I'm going to create a gift shop that I can also use things from the workshop to decorate it on the inside because that is gonna make life so much easier. But this looks really good. I love the planters here as well, by the way. They look absolutely amazing. Uh, wait, did you also use like the, the skeletons like I used as well for, for my uh, Riviera haul? It might be. Museum Dinos, Carlos. Yeah, there was another name, I think. Or there were two people, I guess, that, that made these um, these skeletons. But they're amazing to use. So I would highly recommend you all to uh, go and download these as well. If you want to build something like a museum or anything like that. Gosh, I love these uh, these exhibits. How you make them, like, uh, smaller. But actually, like, they're just a little bit raised right over here. So... This feels more realistic in my opinion, like more on eye level. I absolutely love that. So it's, I think it's made a little bit higher. This looks really good. Or is it not? Where is the path? Or is it not functioning? I think it is. It's not? It's as low. I really thought it's placed a little bit higher. I'm not, yeah, it is a little bit higher. That works so well. And I guess it still works for the staff to keep it clean? I actually don't know. There are animals in there, so I guess if you raise it just a tiny little tad. Oh, these are like the small little details, guys. Like the ticket booth, billboards, and like these exhibits, how you put these down. Like the building around it is amazing as well. I really love it. But this is so inspiring. So what do we have right over here? A little coffee shop. Oh wow, this looks so good. I love this style you have going on right over here, like the wood and the stone. Together with like these uh, cac cac cacti or something i think that's that's the multiple word I, I don't know even know what that is the word but for for cactus cacti i think it was wait is this like uh what is this this i, I their first thought is the staff building because there's so much staff walking here but it's not these are actual exhibits. That is so cool. What is this? The backside of a habitat. But there are so- oh, this- this- ah, oh, this gotta be wolves. Oh my god, just look at these signs, guys. Make notes. This all looks so incredibly good. Just look at this sign, ladies and gentlemen. That is amazing. That is really amazing. And, uh, uh, like, if you see any billboards in, like, the zoo tours that we do, and you are like, oh my god, I want to use that, you can just go to the workshop item and, and just download these pictures and use them in your own zoos as well. Obviously, thank the creator for it. Uh, but this is really, really cool. I love this. 
Ah, oh, I can't, can't look at this for, for a very long time. Look at these cuties! Oh my god, these puppies. They're so cute. Oh, they look so adorable. This looks really good. I love this cave. So this goes all the way around to there. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this is the way we should go. And that our exhibit right over here. But let's just follow this from the left side. Normally, I go to the right side. But for now, we can make an exception. Is this also part? I think this is poop. <laughs> so I think this is part of a habitat. Probably from the timber wolves. I'm guessing. I think this is the cave where they go in. This looks so gorgeous. Oh, man, the foliage work. It's so breathtaking. Another sign. Oh, yes, there, there goes a puppy. This looks really beautiful. So what do we have right over here? La Cantina. So is this, uh, this sounds like, yes, you can eat. <laughs> this, oh, what? Oh my God, that's so cool. These vending machines are just, wow. Oh, this is so interesting. Not really sure if this is made by you or, or also a download, but this looks really, really cool. Gosh, I love this. That looks great. I love the front of this taco bar as well. With like these little things right over here. These are always the small little details that I forget. So people can actually sit here. I would, oh, I was, I was about to say, I would definitely also put some picnic benches here, but you already thought of that. You already thought of that. So this is probably the Asian elephant habitat. Oh, I love this. That looks so cool. I don't see any animal in here. This is the rolling feeder, so there is staff walking. Oh, there is an elephant. There we go. This looks really beautiful. There's also a viewing gallery on the left side, so let's go to that side. Also, take notice. This is so cool. A giant sloth. Oh man, I love this sign. That looks really cool as well. Just look at that. That is amazing. This looks really, really cool. Gosh, the one that made that is just incredible. Oh, love this as well. The Santa Ana Tar Pits. This looks really, really good. I really love the idea of this zoo. That is just incredible. Um, wait, how do we just go and follow this path, I guess? And then we go down, we have another viewing gallery. Is this uh, more for the wolves or not? This looks really beautiful as well. I really love it, like with the water in front. Yes, there is a little puppy running around. I think it's a puppy. This looks really beautiful. I love these shady areas as well. Another wolf sign. And then you can look inside here. Is this also part of it? Oh, it is. Oh, they can actually just lock it. Oh, <laughs> look at you. Oh, come on. Oh, no, there's no meat anymore. Are you gonna jump for us one more time? Oh, It actually looks a little bit disappointed. It looks super sad that there's nothing hanging there anymore. Aw, poor puppy. All right, but uh, yeah, okay, so this is uh, like they can lock this off. Oh, that is really, really cool absolutely love this okay so now we can follow this path to this elephants in the americas and have this beautiful viewing gallery oh there are <laughs> there are a lot of uh jubes right over there i would reduce that to uh, maybe only four or five <laughs> and i was 
just looks like a Jeep train. Oh, that's so funny. Really nice work right over here. Okay, so let's go and zigzag, uh, like skip the zigzag and go to this area. Okay, La Cantina. And then right over here is the 4x4 four four Paleo Safari. Uh, ooh. Let's go back right over here. Uh, let's see, because we have some really cool ske uh, skeletons right over here as well. Asian Elephant and Colombian Mammoth. To see the difference of size as well, that is just incredibly cool. Absolutely love this idea. This is really, really amazing. Oh, look at that picture. That is so adorable. Is this a planet zoo? This is like a perfect shot with mom and dad. And a little one. Oh, that's so cool. So we have jaguars right over here. Also beautiful foliage work. Definitely well done. That looks really good. And then we have a nice sign right over here. Cool climbing frames. Different height elevations. Really well done with your rock work. Absolutely love this. This looks really cool. And they even have like this little pool shelter. Oh, there was a jaguar running. Oh, look at this sign. Oh, I love that. That is so amazing. I think you, you are... I don't know if you made these, but they look excellent. Like, I absolutely love these signs. I'm really bad at making these kind of things. But they look amazing. Gosh, look at that. Even like you, you really put in some realistic details right over here. Look at that right over there. It's a pity that the Jaguars do such weird things. But that's really not up to you. Oh my goodness, this looks so cool. Oh man, I really love this. I absolutely love this. This is just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I really like this. Fantastic work. Also really love these signs as well. So you have cheetahs, jaguars, and uh, the West African lion. I'm not really sure if they are all in here because you did not mention them. I think they are. Or they might. What is that? There's an American bison. Are these all in here or is that like more informative? I really have no idea. But they look like super amazing. Really gorgeous. I'm just saying that by the way because you didn't mention it on Steam. So that's why I have my doubts that these animals like the lion and the cheetah are in here. Gosh, this looks so amazing. The view looks beautiful. So I do not think that there are more habitats in here. So I think we should just go. Gosh, look at this. Oh, the amount of details in here. I love this, how you integrated this in the rocks. That looks amazing. Cats and our human ancestors. This looks so incredibly cool. Absolutely amazing. This is another... Oh no, I was about to say this is another viewing gallery, but no, this is the uh, the entrance for the Jeep. Oh man, this is so cool. This looks really, really good. Oh man, I love this entrance here as well. I love this sign here. You're so creative. You are using items in such a way that I've just never seen before. I absolutely love it. That's just, that is why I just love doing these zoo tours because it's so inspiring to see how people are using pieces 
even this, like a little garage area, if there's a Jeep um, broken down or anything like that, and you can just drive it up here and then fix it from underneath. Uh, this is just so cool. All right, let's just go and jump into the Jeep. All right, here we go. I did change the amount of cars <laughs> to five, just so it's not like super busy. But, oh my, oh, this looks already so incredibly good. I love the viewing from here. I, I love the, the foliage work around this whole track. It almost gives me a little bit of like a theme park vibe. It looks so good and so thematic. I don't know, it's, eh, I really do like it. So we go through right over here. I think it's just going to be one big area with all the, uh, all the other animals. So I see Bactrian camels, I see the elephants, bisons. This looks really beautiful. I love the rock work. It looks so good. I love it that you like integrated that little enrichment item in a pole. I always forget these kind of things. Oh, little baby camel. This looks so gorgeous. 10 out of 10 I would be uh, visiting this area if this would be a real life zoo. This is such a nice viewing, so relaxing. Hey cutie! <laughs> At least there are no animals in front of our car. That's definitely also a plus, even though it's quite funny. <laughs> like Pomoja Wildlife Park was really funny. <laughs> Yeah, well, what's it again? Cam's bot or something in front of our car. I love that. That's so funny. I really like how you made sure, like, that these bushes, like these these uh, plants and trees, that the animals are not basically not able to reach them to um, to eat all of it. I know some zoos do that as well. Like, some animals just eat everything on their way, so it's better to protect the little parts of nature that you have. I really like it that you did this here as well. It also definitely shows why, like, there are also a lot of open, more plain areas. Like, you just really want to make sure, as a park, that the animals would not destroy everything. <laughs> Makes total sense. You can definitely tell that on the other side, there are a lot more animals. Ooh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Camel's here to interrupt because he does not agree with us. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> oh my God. Don't tell me that baby's gonna do the same. <laughs> oh my God, are you? Like, is this the only way? Just walk over our car or Jeep? Hello? <laughs> what are we gonna do? What? what? What was that? Who was screaming? What was that? It like, I, I got this feeling as if like a camel was like biting someone in her car. Obviously that doesn't happen, but 
it did felt like it. I'm not really sure what happened there, but ugh, that baby camel needs to go. Can you please? Why is it not moving? Like it's not even gonna lie down. It's just not doing anything. But there is a camel definitely behind us. Making a lot of noise. Is that because of the camel that it's like maybe right behind us that this camel cannot find a path or anything? I really don't know. It does look like a car is trying to go forward. <laughs> Gosh, imagine this camel <laughs> just being so close. Oh my god, we'd scare the uh, beep out of me. <laughs> Come on, baby camel. Come on, I know you can do it. Oh my, I did not know you could zoom in as well. From this viewing. But okay, uh, we need to get rid of this camel. Ah, oh, I hate it when this happens. It's like so close. Come on, baby camel. I, I think because of all the cars right over here, it's just not able to do anything. Pause. Ride. There we go. Bye, baby camel. <laughs> oh, wow. Right when I wanted to say, there are actually not so many animals here. They were like, no, we do not agree with you. Uh, but this this definitely looked really really good. Actually, I really enjoyed this. Definitely, also a different uh, different approach to a a jeep safari. And uh, I, okay, well, since we are climbing right now, I just want to have a look right over here. So, I'd like to avoid this, like there are a lot of uh, jeeps right now uh, behind each other. Like you can avoid that. If you change the settings here a little bit, and where was that again? You can just make sure uh, Safari. Uh, you you can you can change don't block station for example. So then you can probably make sure that your uh, that there's one car already going and that that they are waiting. You also have the minimum waiting load time and the maximum waiting load time just to make sure that they will be spread out a little bit more over your track. Uh, but I absolutely love... Oh, this looks just so good. Like, I will be the person that will be hiding away the track everywhere, but you don't have to. It looks actually really good if you do it like this like you use this fence as well with like the stones that's one that i actually barely use but it looks really good the foliage work here it looks really great i absolutely love this like how you just use a track right over here zigzagging down that looks really really nice i absolutely love this now let's zoom out and just to check out if we did not forget uh, or miss out on anything. So here are the walls right over here. And then we have the viewing galleries. We have this indoor area right over here. I don't think there's an indoor. Is there? There is a backstage area right over here, which you can check out. Or is this not backstage? Oh yes, this 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 gotta be. Oh, you actually have some really interesting things right over here as well. <gasps> Hi, hello. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Oh my god, baby black jaguar. Oh my god, this is so adorable. Look at this. Oh, I love this. That looks so cool. Oh, this is exactly right. Yes, this was where we found this water. I, I I absolutely love this as well. So look at this. I love how you used, how you made these gates right over here. That 
that looks really cool. And then on the side, a feeding schedule. Is this something that the guests can also visit or something? I don't know if this is connected for the guests as well. Oh man. So look at these cute little elephants. That looks so adorable. This looks really beautiful. I love the logs right over here, how you integrated them. I, th I think this is more of like a backstage area. But it definitely looks very interesting. I love the fences right over here. <sighs> this looks so cool. Site rules for staff. Oh, wow. I love the dedication here on the staff area as well. What is that? I have no idea. Oh, this looks like some kind of... Uh, play area or something well uh, i'm not really sure like this definitely is being used by staff like maybe uh they, they need to do some 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 medical tests or something like that and, and there's one over here just trying to get attention and and someone over here doing the test something like that or or there are like gas tours and they are using it for a different way either way it looks really cool Really like this uh, this backstage area a lot. That looks really good. Wow, I really love the dedication you put in here for this backstage area. That looks absolutely amazing. Can we go inside here? Oh my goodness, you actually did. Oh my god, I'm so happy that I went over here. This is so inspiring. These are the things that I, I never do and I actually should do. And these, ugh, this is just absolutely amazing. Really love this backstage area. That looks really cool. You, you just thought of everything. Absolutely love this. Oh my God, there's a lot of poop here. My goodness, this looks amazing. And it's huge. It's 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 huge. It's like all connected to this area. So you can basically lock up all the animals in here if needed. This looks incredible. Absolutely amazing. Christopherson J. Wow, thank you so much again for sharing a Vadje de los Mammuts <laughs> with us. This was definitely a really cool different approach of things you can make in Planet Zoo. I love the story behind it. I, I love how you made it in general. This looks really, really cool. I'm really inspired by this. This absolutely looks amazing. And, and everyone that is watching right now, please leave something nice uh, for Christopherson J in the comments down below for this incredible work and leave a like at video if you guys enjoyed of course please do make sure to go to the steam workshop item and to also leave a like at the workshop item to uh, help Christopher J to get a better rating in the steam workshop item he definitely deserves it with this beautiful beautiful Valle de los Mamuts no los los <laughs> Okay, I will keep trying and, and uh, keep doing my best to learn a bit more Spanish, okay? <laughs> I really did enjoy this. If, if you have a finished zoo, as I said in the beginning of this video, definitely read the description of this video of how you can send me your zoo as well. And who knows, I might be checking out your finished zoo as well on the channel. Thank you all so much again for watching and thank you again so much Christopherson J for sending this zoo uh, to us to check out. This was really, really amazing work. Thank you so, so much. And thank you all so much for watching. Please do make sure to leave a subscribe, of course, if you guys haven't already. Yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.